Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Hello family and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man God uses. And I welcome you in Jesus' name. I am excited to bring the word of God to you today. The Lord says something serious is happening. This person has been hired to steal from you. Something serious is happening. Now this person has been hired to steal from you. I need you to watch this prophetic word to the end because God will clarify your doubts in many areas and you will begin to understand exactly why some things are happening to you and what you must do even right now. Before we dive into this prophetic word, Please consider um, subscribing on the channel. Make sure that you are part of our Christian community so that when the word of God comes, you will be the first to know that a new prophetic content has been uploaded and you can dive right in and eat. Ezekiel says that the word of the Lord came, son of man, eat. That's speaking about the word of God. I was, I was surprised when I first read that many years ago. Eat. That's the instruction that you receive for every prophetic word, to eat it. Not just to read it, to get it into you. It is to take it from the physical realm, to feed it inside of you. Are you eating the word? Anyway, God says something serious is happening. In my prayers this morning, I got John 10.10. 10. The thief cometh not, but for to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And God began to impress in my heart to share with every one of us on this platform to understand how Satan is working in this end time to be able to destroy. And there are specific prophetic words that I dropped within the video. I need you to watch to the end so that you can see exactly what God is saying and exactly how to be able to overcome the ministry of the thief in your life. First off, the thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. You must understand that there is a, the ministry of a thief. Yes, there, you, cannot, you cannot entirely stop it around the world. You can only stop it in your life. But you may not be able to stop it around the world. It is a ministry. The Bible says that he makes the destroyer to destroy. Speaking about God, that God made the destroyer to destroy. So, it is a covenant that will keep you or set you above the realm where you can be stolen from. The thief cometh not but, for, but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So, there is an assignment that the thief has. And that assignment is to steal, is to kill, and to destroy. So, so many people do not know how to get themselves out of the place where the thief can steal from them, the thief can kill them, or the thief can destroy them. So, you begin to realize that, you know, you are, you are getting all kinds of crazy things around your life and you don't even know what is happening. You can't even explain the things that are happening, the things that are going on in your life. Yeah, because you have not yet had an understanding of the ministry of the thief and how to overcome it. The Lord is saying, if you see these signs, there is a thief in and around you and you need to do the following things to get the thief off you. Number one, number one, on completed projects, have baked miracles, promises that never materialize, engagements that never turn to marriage, I will see what I can do and nothing is done. That's not normal. So favor is what makes a, a man promise you anything. So you find favor and he says, you know what? Let me do something. And the moment he speaks like that, it's not only you that hears it. The thief hears it and comes and steals the desire to bless you from their heart. Steals the urge to sacrifice towards you from their heart because yeah every blessing is a sacrifice at some point the person 
that is you know being used to bless you is also sacrificing whatever he is wanting to give to you you see how it works so the moment you start seeing you know half baked miracles promises that never materialize engagement that never turn to marriage projects that are never completed know that the ministry of the thief is in or around your life number two nobody in your family goes through a or breaks a certain ceiling there is literally like the there is like there's a literal ceiling over your head that nothing you do won't you know you, you are not able to break that a while ago somebody came to my office and was crying that i have never handled xyz amount of money and it was such a small amount that i was like what and the lord told me don't minimize that there are people who are under demonic siege there are people who are under satanic bondage the ministry of the thief now the question is if you've never handled that is it like that is not in your destiny or where does it go it's there god has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness that's what the bible says it's in the scriptures but where is it if it is not in your hands and it was in your life well what the man the thief has stolen it the bible says that when the thief is caught he will be made to pay i wish i had the time to be able to put these scriptures out there for you so that you can you know list get to this thing but pause the video listen to it search these scriptures go through the scriptures and see what I'm saying. He says, if the thief is caught, he will be made to pay sevenfold if the thief is caught. Which means some many of many people are being stolen from and they do not even know. Because they don't even know the signs that there's a thief in your being. There's a thief around your house. There's a thief around your, your destiny. So the devil, first of all, deceives you to think that it is normal. Check. Where are your ambitions and your desires and visions going to? They are being killed. They kill your dreams. They steal your blessings. They destroy your hope. The moment you see these things, it is too repetitive to be a coincidence. Okay? If they, the repetitions are there, I mean, it, it, it just keeps coming back. You cannot just wave it up and say, oh, this is just a coincidence. The first time it could be a mistake. The second time a coincidence. But the third time, the fourth time, now, you've got to do something about it. So the Bible says, if the thief is caught. So how do you catch a thief? Number one is through retrospection. You sit down and think, 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 think. The Bible says, when the prodigal son came back to his senses, you think, how many things have you lost? Why, why do you keep losing things? How many things have you lost? Why did I lose that relationship? It's not like I was... The weakest person? I tried, but why couldn't I? Why couldn't I save that relationship? When you start thinking in that light and in that direction, the thief knows that you're going to catch him. Number two, how do you catch the thief through the prophetic verdicts and declarations like this? That you connect to a genuine man of God, submitting to a man of God, and you talk with him frequently in counseling and prayer, he begins to identify the ministry of the thief in and around your life. And what do you do? You catch the thief and force him to produce everything that he has stolen. I came today to force the hand of the thief to restore everything stolen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I join my faith with yours and I pray that the thief restores everything they've stolen from you. In the name of Jesus, you are receiving it back a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything stolen is returned. Your relationship, your marriage, your business, your career, your finances. In the name of Jesus, I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace in Jesus' name. This is such a good prophetic word. But it will make no sense if you just sit on it. Share this right now. And let someone 
know what God has said. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel to be a part of this awesome prophetic journey that we are on. And God will bless you. I love you. And shalom. Do you receive the word with gladness? Amen.